Selen Yanzi has ended up in prison and here before the courts after she ran a controversial campaign on social media. She demanded sanitary pads are provided to the many schoolgirls in Uganda who miss class because they can't afford them. She used vivid analogies that many in Uganda considered vulgar and in particular criticised the president and the first lady. Her lawyers say the charges of misusing computers to cause offence are an attack on her right to free expression. Legitimate expressions must not be curtailed. We think that the Computer Misuse Act and the sections under which the accused person has been challenged are unconstitutional. They are an unjustifiable restriction of the freedom of expression. Yanzi's lawyers wanted to apply here at the High Court for her to be released on bail. She was not allowed to apply when she was first charged in a lower court two weeks ago. Prosecutors questioned her mental health and the magistrate ruled she should be detained and her sanity assessed. Last week, Uganda's president, Yori Museveni, on a state visit to Qatar, spoke to Al Jazeera about the case. If you are an activist and you commit an offence, because rights, to enjoy rights, you must also respect the rights of others. You cannot trample on the rights of others and you say it is my right to abuse other people, to insult other people. No. Rights go with responsibilities, if you, in, if you know anything about democracy. Inside the courtroom in Kampala was a crowd of Nyanzi's supporters, many of them writers, lawyers and activists. Outside were armed police. And when the judgment came, the key decisions were referred back to the lower magistrate's court handling the criminal case. Lawyers representing Nyanzi say the judgment passed here didn't bring the justice or the clarity that they were seeking. They say they're still not sure if Nyanzi will be granted bail that they say she's entitled to. And they also say now they're concerned that the state will use mental health legislation to try to detain her for several months. Nyanzi was taken back to Luzira Maximum Security Prison to await her next hearing. What started as a discussion around access to sanitary pads and the language Nyanzi used to campaign has escalated into a criminal case and a debate on the fundamentals of free speech. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kampala, Uganda.